Young ladies, this is for you. This is not necessarily a cliche, but guess what? It might as well be one. My father told me about this when he warned me. He said, you know, Patty, you got to be careful when it comes to a man. Because when their hormones get to hopping, and they're in hot pursuit of what's under your skirt, you will think that they really like you. You'll think that, as far as they're concerned, you're the greatest catch of the century. And they can convincingly tell you how much they love you and how much they want to become one with you and how they want you to have their baby. <sighs> because you're that kind of woman. You're special. Yeah, well, number one, that's what you call an erection, talking through one's mouth. And number two, the love talk, yeah, that's somebody who wants to get it on. Let's get it on. Ain't got nothing to do with you. Ain't got nothing to do with how special you are and you're the kind of woman. No, 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 no. You're a woman. You got all the right equipment and you got, I'm going to say this, it's going to sound really crass. So for you Christians who don't like street talk, cover your ears. This is going to be as annoying to you as a cuss word or as, an, as offensive. You got a hole, they got a pole. They want to stick the pole in the hole. Don't matter. If if you had a paper bag, this is what my mother used to say. If you have a paper bag over your head and they didn't know who you were and you presented the hole, they present the pole. Let's get it on. So when you are in the heat of passion and, and you're all caught up in the in the uh the the the, uh, the kissing and the hugging and the touching and the feeling and 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 all of that that uh what you, oh come on I'm trying to think of the word um oh goodness foreplay I don't believe you that's been a long time for me y'all can tell huh but listen don't y'all laugh <laughs> my husband was sick so you leave him alone but anyway um <laughs> it's been when you see that a couple is together and they're caught up in foreplay or you're with a um, um, a man and boy, he just can't keep his hands off of you because you're all that and 10 bags of chips. It's about the pole in the hole. That's all it's about. Now, when that brother's taking you around the family and around the pastor and the job and they're showing you off and they're letting everybody know this is the woman that I really hope to marry one day. That's when you can kind of start believing he might be halfway serious, but even that can be a manipulation. You, could, you just might be a notch on his belt. A canary in a cage. Something for him to show off. And then when he's done. Next. <laughs> this is a, a reality check. You know sometimes we have to be. Uh, slapped. Out of our euphoria. So that we see reality. For what it really is. Not every I love you. Is love. Not every I want you is love and baby cakes cut the jealous ones loose because from I love you I love you and making love will turn out to be black eyes your mind you better not look at anybody else or I will kill you now if you want that kind of love you go right on ahead but for most of you people I believe you have more sense than that Walk away. 